Welcome back on the VST channel, guys. Big news, Samsung released an updated version of the Samsung One UI Home. Now, why is that important? Well, let's check what's new. For a change, we now have a change log. Finally, improved animation effect when returning to home screen after using a widget. So this has been released on the 28th of November. So the version of One UI Home is 15.0. 055. And why is that important, guys? Because honestly, this should have been part of the stable One UI 6 first update. But here we are, and I'm gonna demonstrate it, guys. Right now, I will not update it before not showing you what the issue is. Here you can see I've created a special page only with my widget. So I can open a widget, use everything, it looks kind of normal. The moment I go outside, then you see this kind of abrupt animation. And by the way, I will recheck most of the animations and I'm also doing this video in 4K 60 FPS because I know that matters for some of you. Same with Spotify, guys. So I open Spotify, go outside, boom, kind of abrupt animation. I do have other widgets to show you. This is the smart suggestion. So let's just try to open Twitter and going outside. That's normal because here, remember, I'm just opening an application or in this case, the Galaxy Store. But what about other widgets? So let's see, this is a stack widget here. I have the battery, you know, it's not clickable, but then here I have the calendar, opening the calendar, going outside and boom, abrupt widgets. So what you can see here right now is what angered a lot of people. Honestly, it's never been a problem to me, but it's not the proper way. When you release a final stable operating system uh, after so much anticipation, and I believe after nine betas, it should be perfect, but it wasn't perfect. It wasn't also updated when they issued the first update, because right now we already have like a first update after the One UI 6 stable. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna go back here, and without any further ado, I am going to update my Samsung One UI Home. Then I'm going to retest all these widgets and also try to see if they managed to improve on the other animations. So stay tuned, and if you're here for the first time, guys, you might as well want to sub for that channel. If you like content like this, I try to cover Samsung, I try to cover Xiaomi, iPhones, Apple, yeah, anything I can get with my hands and touch. I have to buy all my stuff, guys. I don't get anything for free. So this year, we have had the Oppo Find X6 Pro, the Xiaomi 13 Ultra, the Xiaomi 14 Pro. So if you want to check some agent pre comparison versus agent 2 and the iPhone 15 Pro Max, you're more welcome. Now, how do we know that we have the most recent version? Click here, go on the settings, go about home screen, and then you can check, guys, the version is 15.0.0.5.5. But let's check if they managed to sneak in some hidden features here. We have the standard home screen layout. We have the home screen uh, grid, also the up screen and the folder grid. It looks kind of standard. Add media page, the home screen. I'm right now using Google Discover, so we can potentially just kill that off. Show up screen button or home screen, lock the home screen layout, add new apps to the home screen. Every time you install a new app, then you have it there. Change the app icon badges if you want to use numbers or dots. So this also here, rotate to landscape mode and stuff like this. But now the main question is, let me just go back to my specific special widget testing page and see what happens. Opening it, closing it. Oh, that's a whole other thing, right? This should have been really day one from One UI 6. So disappointment is here that they didn't really push it out like this. Like, see really how much different it is, guys. It seems to me that we might have the bug again, because see here, sometimes it works, but when I try to play some songs and I go outside, it doesn't really work all the time. All right, let's just hope that this is gonna be something like one-off. Let me just try to replicate the issue. So I'm gonna go back here to this main screen uh, where I have my like songs playlist. <laughs> oh no, I'm not sure if that's a bug right now or it works as designed, uh, but it's for sure nasty. Let me just go on the main Spotify page. Yeah, definitely something going on. Okay, at least better. The weather widgets now is very, very smooth, but let me just check also the other. So what happens here if I open the calendar? All right, open, browse, exit, okay. So finally, Samsung were able to fix this, although I do believe that there might be some issues. What? Is this the way it should work, guys? Let me just do it slowly. Okay, a bit better then. All different widgets here. I have the battery widget again. Let's check the YouTube. So YouTube, okay, better. No, I think this has been fixed. All right, so that's a bit better. And uh, let's check also the photo widgets. Okay, the note widgets, opening, closing it. Let's open this note, close it, okay, a bit better. Again, Spotify, yeah. I would say that it works. 
this one as well. See here, like, see how nice this renders. Uh, but I do believe the custom camera widget, by the way, I do believe that it's still not without a issues. Uh, the thing is, guys, this should have been really pushed out at the very beginning. This one as well, going to and from my Google Discover. Very smooth, by the way. So definitely smooth enough to be perfect almost. Now let's just see what happens here, guys. People are saying that this is a nonlinear animation. I don't think that we are there yet because I just compared it to the iPhone. Uh, nonlinear animation means that you can just do, let's say more than one animation in parallel. So let's say I open this and then immediately go to my recents menu and I try to kind of like execute one animation before the other has stopped. So I don't think that we have this level of fluidity there, uh, but it's for sure better. Let's check now the apps opening. All right, open Telegram. Yeah, not that bad, open Twitter. All right, scrolling Twitter, going outside of Twitter. Now let's check also Instagram. And what happens when we go like this, guys? Oh, because this here was a very laggy transition, guys. Why? Because you can use Telegram on 120 Hertz, but the moment you enter something that has a viewfinder, you immediately drop at 60 Hertz. And I can demonstrate this to you. If you go inside, uh, your developer's options and you search for refresh rate. So it's here, show refresh rate. And the moment you select this feature, guys, you're gonna see it's 120. So the moment I open the camera, boom, the viewfinder is always locked to 60 FPS. And I would expect the same to happen with Insta. So I'm browsing Insta, 120. The moment I go like this, boom, immediately to 60. So this transition here, guys, see? 120 hertz, 60 hertz, this might be one of the causes. And it's still not 100% smooth, you can see from here. But I think this is really as good as it gets. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to sub. And remember, the S24 Ultra is coming in hopefully the next two months. So it's going to get even more interesting when we compare it to the S23 Ultra. VST over and bye.